Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna play our own little game of deal or no deal. Woohoo! And Thomas Tatar, come on down here, cause the price may just not be right for you, buddy. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at Thomas Tatar and uh, try and decide whether or not the Habs should bring this guy back to the team next season or not. And believe me, I got a 50 pound sack of potatoes ready to fire at this guy today. But first, before we begin, if you guys are a fan of the Habs or just just a big old bucket of chicken, please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload hockey content daily and would really enjoy if you gerbils decided to tag along for the ride. Now, Mr. Tatar. Thomas, ta-ta. Some of you guys are probably scratching your heads and your ass thinking, hey, how did we get this grasshopper again? Well, take my hand and come with me as we go back in time. A time when Max Pacioretty was El Capitan of the Montreal Canadiens and uh, Bergevin decided, hey, you're out of here, kid. The Habs traded Max Pacioretty to the Vegas Golden Knights in exchange for the subject of today, Thomas Tatar, Little St. Nicholas Suzuki and a second round pick in 2019. And, uh, hey, I still think this was a good trade for both sides. Whether Tatar signs with the Habs or not during the offseason. Okay, it's all good. It's good. So, why not pull up the statistics of Babar Tatar and see what kind of numbers this guy has been putting up since joining the team. <laughs> he potted 25 goals and had 58 points during his first season. And then last year, he went completely apeshit. The guy had 22 goals and 61 points in 68 games, which was uh, insane. What a year Tatar had last season. But unfortunately, this season, in my opinion, Opinion, he was kind of underwhelming, okay? Had this been a normal season of 82 games, Tatar would not have even been on pace for his usual 20 goals. And I know this because my math skills are just unbelievable. <laughs> Right. Tatar finished up this season with 30 points in 50 games. Not too bad, but not jaw-dropping good either, right? Now, with Thomas Tatar turning the ripe age of 30 and heading towards free agency during this offseason, one has to wonder, are the Habs gonna try and sign this guy to a new contract? Hmm. It's a tough one, you know, because there are so many things to consider. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to list out a couple of pros and cons of bringing this guy back. Let's start off with the pros. The Habs. They don't really have a whole lot of left wingers anymore. I mentioned this a few videos back. The bulk of their wingers right now are all righties. Yeah. If Tatar, a left-handed shot, leaves the Habs, then all they're going to have left is Jonathan Drouin, who is uh, a maybe, I guess, as he's been MIA for quite some time now, along with Paul Byron, who has been dangled like a fresh piece of meat through the waiver wire a couple of times already this season, and Arturi Lekkonen. So, if you ask me, the Habs kind of need a left-handed winger here hitting into next season for sure. However, they can address this by re-signing Thomas Tatar, or signing another free agent, or even by making a trade. It's completely up to them. But yeah, something has definitely got to happen here, especially if Tatar walks. Moving on now, let's take a look at some cons. Everybody loves cons, right? Where do I begin? After having such an impressive year last season, it seems like this year he did fall off the ladder a little bit. I mean, his points aren't bad, but UFAs are really annoying to deal with. And I mean, this is a season where he should be absolutely flying out there trying to, you know, impress everybody who's watching, even me, to prove his value sort of thing. Well, no. Didn't happen. Another issue here is how many years and how much Skrilla is this guy going to try and command? At 30 years old, is this guy going to expect a five-year, 25 million deal? Because yeah. um, I don't know if he's worth it. I mean, he's making 4.8 million this season, so I wouldn't be shocked if he is looking for a little more money during the offseason. And hey, I don't really think he's going to be worth it. Some other team may think he is, but uh, I don't know. It's risky. His playoff performances, you know, when you need the guy the most. He's always just bleh. He's not a physical forward. He's just, he's Tatar, right? The guy is Tatar. He's a bit streaky. You know what you're getting. But when the going gets tough, he's been non-existent for the most part. So what I want all you knuckleheads to do now is let me know what you think 
of old Tommy Tatar and his future. Do you think this is a guy that the Habs should resign during the offseason or should they drive him out to the middle of the desert somewhere and uh, throw a 50 pound sack of potatoes at him until he begins to cry? Thomas Tatar, deal or no deal? Let me know in the old comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hey, I'll see you gerbils next time.